London's celebrated summer of sport didn't have everyone cheering. Billed as a boom time for the capital, many businesses claim they were misled and then left out of pocket as Olympic tourists failed to spend big. Many blamed the mayor, claiming he effectively told people to stay away. Confronted with his own public information message from The Time on a radio chat show this morning, Boris had a brief fit of the giggles. Hi folks, this is the mayor here. This is the greatest moment in the life of London for 50 years. We're welcoming more than a million people a day to our city. There's going to be huge pressure on the transport network. Don't get caught out. He denied he was scaremongering, but to those who lost money, the mayor made this apology. I know there'll be lots of taxi drivers listening to this and shh and cursing me and, yes, and saying... Yes, speaking with some I, in a I can imagine. Um, and I'm not going to pretend that uh, it, was, it was a bonanza for everybody. But And, and, and to those who feel hard done by, uh, yes, of course, you know, I'm, 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 I'm sorry for the losses that they... or for the, the lower takings that they had. <laughs> London's black cab drivers were vocal opponents of the Olympics, twice bringing central London to a standstill. They were angry at being barred from the games lanes. But the mayor's apology appears to have helped. I think it's good that Boris has acknowledged um, the difficulties that we had. It wasn't really his fault, to be fair. I mean, the people to blame were the economic forecasters, the people who ignored the experience of Sydney, who ignored the experience of Atlanta, who tell, uh, uh, all these people would have told um, our forecasters how bad it was in those cities during the Olympics. Nalene Strauss's restaurant in the city was full this lunchtime. During the Olympics, it was deserted. At the time, she was furious, sending the mayor a bill for her lost earnings but even she seems to have been won over by Boris Johnson's charms. During the Olympics, we were 60% down on everything, and um, it was sad, but it's back to normal now. And um, I can say that I take my hat off to Boris Johnson for apologising, because you don't get politicians apologising every day. And I think he's a scholar for doing that, and I'd like to have him here for a steak and some wine. Despite his apology today, the mayor is adamant there was an overall economic boost to the capital from the Games. It's just that not everyone got to feel it. Toby Sadler, London Tonight.